Hello internet friends, it's Angela Wendron from Green Street today talking to you about mineralized toothpaste. Um, I've been making my own toothpaste for years now but just recently I've been doing a lot of research and, and reading a lot about how to remineralize your teeth. For a long time I didn't think this was possible but I've been reading some really good articles and, and doing some research from uh, holistic and uh, dentists and, and naturopaths and so I'm starting to discover that this is actually something that we can do. So I thought, why not make my own toothpaste? So I've done some research. This particular recipe um, in pretty much comes from another blog called Reed, uh, Weedem and Reap. I've put a link in below because she has a lot of other really good information in there about diet and, and other things you can do for remineralizing your teeth. But essentially the recipe is, is from there. I've made a few alterations just in the essential oils um, mixture. But anyways, I'll get started. Um, what you're going to need is a quarter cup, and I have all the measures written below in the blog below, or in the, the written piece below, so don't worry about writing it down, as well as some really good links and some other information there as well. So um, it's bentonite clay that we're going to use, and there's a quarter cup of that. And I'm just going to put that in my bowl. Beca with bentonite clay, you never want to use a metal bowl or, or a metal spoon with it because it actually will act as a magnet and will will uh, pull out some of the, the positive, positively charged metals from your container or whatever the utensil you're using. So we're going to use a glass dish and a wooden spoon when we're working with the bentonite clay. In the original recipe, they say they actually use a food processor, but they have stainless steel blades on their food processor. I'm not 100% sure if my blades are stainless steel, so I'm just going to mix it by hand. It might not be quite as smooth, but you know we'll pretty much much get it. So um, to the bentonite clay, I'm going to add two tablespoons of calcium magnesium powder, and I'm just going to put that in there, and that's going to add some nice uh, minerals to the toothpaste that our body can and teeth can use and absorb and then to that I'm going to add my sea salt I like I like using this brand real salt it's a nice mineralized sea salt and uh, it's just a really good quality one so I think there's about a quarter teaspoon of that in there and a quarter teaspoon aluminum free baking soda so I'm going to put that in there. Baking soda is really good for whitening the teeth. It, um, it, it, it leaves a nice alkaline environment in the mouth, so it's very good for, for cleaning and um, antibacterial and all of that kind of thing. And then, so that's kind of my dry, and then, I'm, well, I'm going to add the stevia now. This is about a teaspoon of stevia. You can use this, this is just to sweeten it, so there's really no beneficial ingredients there other than as a sweetener, a natural sweetener, and it's the green stevia, so it's the, the less processed kind. Uh, start with a quarter teaspoon and then work your way up. At one teaspoon was good for us, that's what we like, but everybody's a little bit different. Maybe your preferences won't be for that much, so, and a little goes a long way with stevia. And then with from that, I'm gonna add my coconut oil. I think it was three tablespoons. I pre-measured everything. Yeah, it's three tablespoons. So this is <clears throat> cold pressed, unrefined coconut oil, and it's organic as well. So, and I'm just going to add all of this in, and then to, oops, just kind of blend it. Now, if you have a food processor with stainless steel uh, blades, stainless steel is you know just being a nice um, stable metal you could use. So this takes a little more work uh, doing it by hand, but it's it's certainly doable. It's not that bad. And then to that I'm going to add half a cup of, of filtered water. Use some filtered water because you really um, want to avoid fluoride, fluoride in a lot of our city water. I know here in Peterborough our water is fluorinated, so um, you want to avoid that. As well as chlor chlorine, it's not really what we want in our in our toothpaste so and this is all we do is we mix all this together now instead of just this is this is going to be because I am doing it by hand this takes a little bit um, and I've made some ahead of time so I can show you so I won't put you through 
watching me mix it. At, um, I, I'm still going to add to this my trace minerals. It's just another great way to add minerals to your toothpaste and they're easily absorbed. And I believe it's 10 drops. So one, two, three. That's 10. So we'll add the, the, the trace minerals in there. And then all that's left to add to that is your essential oils. And I, you can, there's a number of essential oils you can use. I prefer the minty ones. That's just kind of what my family and I enjoy. So I'm just going to go with peppermint and I'm going to put 30 drops of that in. One, two, three, four. That's 30. So I'll continue mixing that really, really well. And at the end of doing that, I've already made a batch before. So this is what the mixture will kind of look like, your texture. Can you see that burn in the, in the camera? Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's clay. <laughs> it looks like clay. So it's a little bit to get your head around. It's a little bit of a stretch for those of us who've grown up with, you know, Colgate and Crest and all of that. But, um, and even from my own natural homemade toothpaste that I've made, which is, more of a baking soda mixture. It's it's quite different, but I've been using it for about a week now in conjunction with the oil pulling and um, the tongue scraping and the mouthwash and the saltwater gargle and my teeth have been feeling really, really good. My gums, my I feel my, my smile has been a little brighter, so it seems to be really working well. And uh, that's pretty much it for mineralized toothpaste. So thanks for watching. It's Angela from Green Street blogging about my passions. Please leave a comment and um, have a look at the content below. There's a lot of good information there. Thank you.